Hi there and welcome back to the Floss Marketing School. In this uh, video we are going to talk about uh, retargeting. So let's uh, first try to define what is retargeting. Um, so retargeting consists in uh, showing you some ads coming uh, from uh, your company or your organization um, when people already visited your website and you want actually to display them ads on website which uh, does not belong to you. So uh, for example, I'm vi visiting this uh, random website and as you can see on this given random website, it gets an ad and this ad is about uh, probably a, a company that uh, I, uh, I visited in, in the past, which is uh, offering services in order to uh, get uh, less issue with, uh, with muscles. So um, typically that's what uh, retargeting is about, is that you are visiting this website at some point. Uh, when you visit this website, there's a cookie which is inserted on uh, your browser. And uh, as a result, uh, through the online advertising platform, which is used by this company, uh, some websites such as this one are gonna host uh, spaces in order to get some revenue. So they are gonna put here uh, some codes coming from an advertising network and as a result the ad from this given company is going to be short and you will have the feeling that the ad is uh, following you everywhere uh, you are going to be and uh, that's a concern in terms of privacy as you can imagine uh, because what it means is uh, so in fact all those online advertising platforms are mainly coming from uh, the let's say the big uh, companies out there. So for example, I think this one is Google. Uh, yeah, as you see Google ad service. So of course it's a major issue in terms of um, privacy because it means that as websites such as this one are embedding uh, codes coming from uh, Google means that of course Google know how many visits this website has. But of course also um, they know uh, a little bit more about uh, the person who visited uh, this uh, given uh, website. And if, for example, you are sharing your computer with someone else, well, based on those cookies which are set and based on those targeting of ads, uh, the people with who you are sharing your computer will know that uh, you have interest in those products and uh, services and that you visited them in the past. Um, so that's uh, that's what I wanted to uh, to show you briefly. I wish I could show you a retargeting open source platform. Or however, um, I didn't find any a free one. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to simulate with my own techniques what uh, retargeting is about. So um, is a, a website that I have. Sorry for that. Is a website that I have. This uh, website is about uh, cryptocurrency, and what I will uh, do is that I will show you uh, retargeting uh, with this website and another one in order to show you how ads are following a given uh, visitor. So let's imagine that someone visits this given website and i want to set a cookie on the browser of this uh, given visitor so what i will do is i will create a script in order to set a cookie on its browser uh, setting a javascript cookie is uh, is very really simple so um, in order to see how you can create a cookie it's like this you just create a script on which you give a name to your cookie and you give a value to your cookie and of course, you just put some uh, script tag. So this is in fact what I uh, did uh, over here. I did a script like this. I used the um, tag manager, the Matomo tag manager in order to insert uh, the, the script just because I feel more comfortable with it. But um, here is what it looked like. So cookie simple interest. So I have my script, which is like this. Okay, script document cookie interest and value is cryptocurrency. And this given cookie is fired every time that someone is going to visit a page which um, is the one of my domain. So um, as a result, if I visit this given page, so I can inspect the element, click on storage. As you can see, oops, I'm going to clean all my cookies out, so delete all, okay. Uh, so if I refresh this given page, as you can see, I get a cookie which is set, which is interest and interest in what? Interest in a cryptocurrency. And this is exactly the script that I was showing you. If this page is viewed, then a cookie is set on the browser of the visitor. 
And as a result now, if I visit another website which has nothing to deal with this one, but on which I add a script which is able to read uh, the cookie, mm -hmm. and uh, this is what I'm going to get. So uh, here I'm on another uh, website. So as you can see, the domain name is, is different. This one is converter and this one is converter. So it's really two different websites. And what you can see is that I get an ad which uh, is telling me, okay, we know that you visited our website on blah, 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 blah. Please come and visit. Okay, so this is a, this is an ad that I created and uh, this is the source code of the page. So uh, what do I have? I have here an iframe. So the iframe correspond to the script that I was showing you before, correspond to the script that you can uh, see behind this, this ad. And in fact, uh, what this iframe is doing is like it's defining a space in which the ad will show up. And the ad uh, has been written actually as a script. So this is what I have over here. And uh, I have my script, which is defined, which is defined here. So we know that you visited our website on blah, blah, blah. And here I have the condition. And the condition is if you find out a cookie which equal cryptocurrency, then show out the ad. And that's the reason why the ad is shown over here. Okay, so that's uh, the basic thing about retargeting is that you visit a website, um, there's a cookie which is set, and then according to this cookie, you can show out an ad for it. Okay, that's, that's the thing. Uh, but what is really great with retargeting is that uh, you can, of course, set your cookie on whatever action or set of actions that a given visitor has performed. So let's imagine now that I would like to track this uh, given visitor, but not only on the fact that um, uh, he or she visited the page, but on the fact that the people act with the here the converter. It's kind of interesting because it tells me that uh, if some people, for example, are converting their money uh, over here, it tells me that probably their own cryptocurrency. And it means, of course, that the sales pitch that I'm going to have is totally different because I know that they just not only have an interest in cryptocurrency, I know that they are as well an interest in uh, converting their money, so probably they have some money. So of course my message will be different and that's in fact all the key thing about retargeting. That's the possibility to target people mm -hmm. which are at different um, level within the, the funeral the conversion funeral. So um, in fact, what I did here is I defined another tag, so like this tags, um, which sets um, a cookie um, when people have an interest in converting crypto and I have another cookie which is set, which now has not just the value cryptocurrency, which has in fact the value which is crypto purchase. And this cookie is set when people are clicking on the button, which is uh, submit. So as you can see, it's a lot about analytics too. Uh, so this is my convert button. As you can see, it has an ID which equals submit. And as a result, if uh, people are in fact coming on this given page and are in fact clicking on this convert uh, button, what is happening, as you can see, is that it's setting another cookie, which is named crypto purchase. And uh, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to delete this one. If not, it gets uh, buggy because I got, I got a conflict of, of cookies. I'm going to clean as well the ad page that I'm using, which is, oops, which is the following one. Okay, so I'm going to uh, delete as well this one. And now if I come back on this given page, I'm just going to click here on storage and Crypto purchase, okay, all good. Um, and uh, cryptocurrency, damn it, I should get rid of. Oh, okay, I see my conflict here. Is that I just uh, let my tags, which is about um, uh, crypto interest. So that's why I still get the conflict. So if I just empty, if I just clean this out, all good. If I go back on this one and that I delete all the cookies, okay, so if it please, crypto purchase, all good. And if I, cryptocurrency, if I delete this one and if I refresh the page, 
cryptocurrency. I still get this buggy stuff. Um, Dips. So. Okay. And now I'm just gonna set my uh, cookie that I had some minutes ago, which is yes, which is the following one on which yeah I get my crypto purchase. So good. Okay, and now as you can see, I get this given ad, which is different, which is we know that you have money, so please use our trading platform. And that's everything that I wanted to show you about uh, retargeting. You can, of course, it can be very intrusive because you can go very far. So let's imagine that through the cookies, I get like your first name and family name because you are giving it. I could, of course, tailor the ad with your first name and family name. Of course, it will be very intrusive. You will need to have the consent uh, of uh, the visitor in order to do, to do so. But you can definitely, in fact, uh, target your visitor according to the different steps in which uh, the visitor is on your website. And then you can, of course, uh, follow it um, on all the websites which are using the same advertising platform on which you are playing with uh, retargeting. And that's it uh, for the video of today. So we really hope that it will help you understand a little bit more what is uh, retargeting. Thanks for watching.